go on weeks and weeks, uh, a lot of people say that, for example, if you're in Spain or Greece where the sun is all the time, they, they, they smile more. Uh, how is it in Riga? Do you, you recognize that? They're just like a little bit sad? And yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be sad too if it's negative 10 outside as well. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's understood because when, you, when you're cold, like you don't really want to walk outside and be cheesing when, you, when you're freezing. But when you go inside restaurants, people are smiling and having a good time. But I just think that's just due to the weather, that's all. What's your relationship with winter? When did you get the coldest winter so far? Um, I actually grew up in Alaska. I stayed in Alaska for two years because my dad was in the military. So I'm used to cold weather like this. Uh, my coldest winter, I would have to say, was negative 10 Celsius, I want to say. It was somewhere around in Alaska. And so the weather here really doesn't affect me too much. So I'm kind of used to it. Uh, what, what did somebody say about our, uh, our, our winter? They said this is going to be one of the coldest winters I ever encountered in my life. They said uh, Riga's winters are brutal. And I said, no way. They said, trust me. They said, it starts to get negative five around this time in November. And I mean, pretty, pretty much right now, we're having great weather, as they would call it. And they said, don't worry. When December comes, you'll really feel how cold it gets. And I said, OK. So I'm, I'm bracing for it right now. I really am. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I actually, I, I've been to uh, Rostov um, when we played uh, Locomotive. I went there, so I, I felt how cold it was. I've been to Moscow three times already, and I, I've witnessed a couple of Russian winners, so I, I understand completely what you mean. <laughs> what do you do on your free time? Um, I, my free time read, I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of reading because uh, back home I have some some ventures that I that I own, and I need to always keep learning more about it. I have to learn more about myself. Um, I have a lot of free time over here, so I just try to use that to learn. I always learn. I try to pick up some some different phrases in Latvian while I'm over here because I think that's just one of the best things you can do. For is for example. Um, Sveiki, uh, Katriviet, is Nuta. If somebody asks me how I'm doing, I can say so so. I can say good. If you know, somebody asks me uh, if I'm depressed, I can say depressé or something. I, everything I just learn like this about bits and pieces, and I try to incorporate every day or try to try to figure out something new. What kind of books do you love reading? Like, uh, like uh, self. Mental uh, education or some like uh, stories of your life? Um, it ranges. I try to read something that's predicated towards my life. Um, one of the books I read by Robert Kiyosaki is called Rich Dad Poor Dad. Uh, and it's basically saying, like, when you have kids, this is how you want to teach your kids to, to, you know, to learn different things about life. Um, another one is called The Millionaire Next Door, which is. Uh, basically about people that uh, people that come into a lot of wealth pretty much don't show that they have a lot of wealth. And that's one of the things that I, I base my life on. I don't want to show people, oh, because I play basketball, I have X amount of dollars or something like that. I'm, I'm living my life because I want to live my life the way I want to live it, not because you think I should live it the way you think I should live it. And other books, like for a hobby, I may read a, a, a Magic Johnson, uh, article or or something about him, how he used basketball as a tool to better better his life afterwards. Like the money that he made, he put it towards different ventures, which I'm trying to do right now. And I mean, it, it's just a lot of books I have out there. Have you thought about when you finish the season, what would you do? Well, not the season, but the career in basketball. What would you like to do when you uh, do when you get older, or do some business, or? Back home and go fishing or what? Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of things um, up my sleeve that I want to do when I finish playing basketball. Um, I don't really want to say them on camera because I don't want nobody to steal my ideas. So it's I have I have a lot of things. Uh, I have a lot of different crafts that I work on. Um, uh, I'm, I'm educated for my degrees and 
I mean, it's, it's just a lot of things that I'm, it's in the works right now. There's things that are already off the ground and other things I'm trying to plan and do later. So when I'm finished playing basketball, it'd be an easy transition so I don't have to sit there and just worry about where my next, my next life is going to start or how it's going to start. Do you want to do it with some kind of basketball or just different Yeah, I mean, it, it would be nice, but I just, it's just, it's just bits and pieces right now. Um, that's why I said I don't really want to say it on camera because I don't want nobody to steal my ideas. So yeah, it, it has something to do with basketball and it has something to do with just everyday just life, of course. Do you watch movies a lot? I love movies. I'm a movie connoisseur. Any movie you can name, I've probably seen it. I can tell you a line off of it or, or I've, I've seen it four times probably. What kind of movies are your favorite? Horror movies. I love horror movies. Uh, because horror movies has been my favorite because ever since I was a baby, my mom would take me to a horror movie or she would like watch a horror movie in front of me when we were at the house. And she said every time I would watch them, I would like laugh or I like chuckle at them. Like it was, it's just like the funniest thing to me. And, and I can just tell after every scene when the, when the killer or when the ghost is gonna pop out and I just say, there it is. And it's just, it's always funny to me. So it's kind of hard for a horror movie to scare me. So I just like them because I can just predict what's going to happen. Which, which horror movie the most scared you? The um, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, because that's the only horror movie that I can really say that you can't predict, you can't get away from because he can get you in your sleep and you have to sleep. So if you have a, a horror figure or some type of monster coming to, ki like coming to kill you or get you and you're going to sleep, like how can you defeat that man like it's no way possible so that's the only one that I felt like I have been ever afraid of in my life. So you watch horror movies is there anything that you're afraid of in, in real life? Um, I'm God fearing I mean I mean it's a lot of things people may be afraid of but I I only can say I'm afraid of of not trying not giving the opportunity to try to do something if I've if I've never Given, if, I've, if I've never been given the opportunity to try something, I'm, I'm afraid of what I could have done or what I could have did, you know, because it's, I never got the opportunity to do it. What would you like to achieve here at Riga? Um, like I'd like to achieve the greatness, just keeping, keeping everything going. Another championship in the Latin League, of course, uh, advancing to the top 16 or beyond in Euro Cup, which we still have a chance to do. Uh, making it to the VTB playoffs and just learning more Latvian, of course, because I just think it's, it's a cool language. Um, and becoming closer with my teammates and, clo and coaches as well. So, I mean, that's, that's a big list, but I think it's all possible. How do you feel the fun culture uh, here in Riga? The, the funk culture? No, no, the, like, the, like the spectators. Oh, the, the fans. Oh, the fans. Yeah. The fans. Oh, I think it's getting better because, as you and I know, hockey is the number one sport in, in, in Riga. So, I mean, as long as we can keep making people interested in coming and seeing the games, which is, which is that is our job to do is to entertain the people, then I think it will get better and better each, each game, each game.